Welcome back, Wolfpack Vrolis here, and we have a battle from Brandon, which might be one of the more interesting ways to end Fan Fridays. So let's get this battle started, and I hope you guys have enjoyed Fan Fridays so far. This might be, I, I think this is going to go in a pretty cool direction. So if you guys, ha if you guys have heard of what's about to happen, you might, you might think that this could be comedy gold. And if you haven't heard about it, we will get into an explanation later. So right now the opponent is opening up with a Florgus and a, um, and a Landorus. So that's going to be your standard Landorus. Might be Scarf, just kind of an interesting Pokemon. So it is going to switch out and it is going for a bait right here. Because now Muck comes into the battle and looks like Florgus went for the Protect to keep everything safe. So Hariyama goes for the Fake Out and that is going to be for the Florgus. But the Trick Room means that the strategy didn't work. The opponent was actually trying to bait into getting damage onto that Muck. But it didn't really matter because that's going to be... Ooh, Sticky Hold. But the Eject Button going to come through. So the Eject Button... Making it to where Symbiosis activates and now Leftovers goes to the muck that doesn't exist anymore on the battlefield and Suicune is on the field. So a lot of really inter interesting interactions just happened right there. Actually, the knockoff into the whole muck with the uh, sticky hold came up pretty big right there. So, Florgus going to use Moonblast, going to get some solid damage onto the Hariyama. Hariyama wants to switch out, doesn't want to deal with what's going on, even though Trick Room is up. Hariyama and Excavalier under Trick Room should be some very powerful Pokemon. Celia going to Psychic, get a little bit of damage onto the Suicune, and then Moonblast from the Florgus. Scavalier is going to tank that up pretty nice, not very effective hit, and Calm Mind on the Suicune. So Suicune wants a pretty heavy setup. That it's going, it's, it's Calm Mind Suicune, so that's all we need to know about that. And that is going to be the withdrawal of the Florgus into the, I believe, oh, Therian, or not Therian, yeah, Ther Therian Landorus. I thought it was going to be Muck, but that's going to be the attack drop, making it pretty hard for the Scavalier and Megahorn. So we should get a good amount of damage on the Suicune, but the Intimidate going to keep Suicune alive, and the Citrus Berry going to troll us super hard right there. So Cresselia going to use Psychic, and it's going to be some damage, but not enough. We do get the special defense drop and the Scald from Suicune that is at pl plus one. That is not going to be enough to knock out the Escavalier. And that is going to be the switch. Okay, so Landorus came in for just the Intimidate. And now we have Florgus back on the field. Oh, the opponent's playing with us. He is playing the mind games. Getting really tricky with it. So that's going to be the Protect Drill Run. Going to be protected right there. And Cresselia with the Ice Beam. Going to try to get the crazy damage on the Landorus, but instead... That's just going to be, ooh, the, actually that works out pretty well. So, playing around it, not getting too much damage onto the Florgus. Scald going to be headed for the Cresselia. Plus one, still not a lot of damage. Moonblast from the Florgus onto Cresselia. Trying to get it down, but the Trick Room. Still going to activate, and the Citrus Berry. This is what I meant about Citrus Berry on Cresselia when I did my Cresselia guide. Like, you use that Trick Room, you get whatever support your team needs, and that's already a lot of hits, a lot of focus on the Cresselia, and it hasn't done anything. Cresselia is still at around two-thirds health. So that's going to be the Landorus once again, Intimidate, bringing down Scavalier's attack even further. Cresselia drops a little as well, but the Iron Head, destined for the Florgus and the Intimidate, clutching it out one more time. Life Orb, super effective hits, still not enough, but Psychic onto Cresselia, a little bit of damage, and the Grassy Terrain. So Florgus going for the ultimate support Pokemon. Grassy Terrain, interestingly enough, going to benefit Escavalier and going to benefit the Florgus, but not Cresselia. Okay. So it's Rakion going to switch out. Just a lot of switch in mind games right there. And now we have Muck on the field. Escavalier is going to Iron Head. Is that going to be enough to finish off the Florgus? Yes, it is. But... We, we still have, a, I think, maybe one or two turns left on the Trick Room. Not too much. Scavalier is losing a lot of health, and Cresselia gets the Psychic onto the Muck. So at least we get some good stab damage. Super effective hit, and yeah, a little bit of heal from that. So there we go. That's the Grassy Terrain heal right there. And now that's Leftovers healing up the Muck for a little bit of damage right there. And that's going to be Leftovers healing up the Muck for a little bit of damage. And that's going to be Leftovers healing up the Muck 
And that's going to be leftovers healing up the muck. So for those of you guys that are confused, earlier in the battle, there's this glitch going on right now with Symbiosis, that if you have a Pokemon get eject buttoned out while Symbiosis is activating, so the idea is, muck, it got hit, so eject button activates. Symbiosis applies whenever a Pokemon's held item is lost, so it gives that item to the Pokemon that's switching out, which puts it in a weird suspended state that causes it to activate twice the next time the Pokemon comes in. So, what ended up happening is Cresselia, and now Muck has minimized. So Muck is getting a quarter of its health back at the end of every turn, plus the extra uh, 1 16th off of grassy terrain, and now it's using minimize. And now it's getting leftover seal. So that's kind of what's going on right now. Now the breakdown mechanics here is that Symbiosis is supposed to activate like that, but someone decided to eject button with it, and very funny things happen that the spaghetti code in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire kind of shows through right there. Look at that, Muck's pretty much at full health while also getting the minimizes. And Suicune also getting a little bit of health from the grassy terrain. And thing is, there's not much you can do about it. Muck is going to set up. Um, I think this Muck might have Power Up Punch. Like, it's got, could have like Protect, Minimize, Power Up Punch, Gunk Shot. That could be solid right there. But overall, you also have Landorus. It's going to be, okay, so Will-O-Wisp. Muck's still going to be gaining a lot of health at the end of the turn. So it's not the worst thing that could happen. But yeah, there's there's all the gains. Um, yeah, we just have to see. What, this battle is going to take forever now because the ending turn is going to be a while. But so with the symbiosis glitch, I'm still trying to like talk about this because like um, we Landers is still applying a lot of pressure, and you really you really can't do anything to the smuck right now. Yep. Ooh, actually that's a really solid hit. And then the ice beam follow up onto the. Oh, it looks like he tried to get the switch in prediction on the Landers. Hey, he gets a freeze on the. Suicune though. So now Muck has max evasion and getting the symbiosis glitch, just ridiculous. So yeah, so there are a lot of items that end up working with this. I have a list of all the data behind it. So Absorb Bulb activates twice and then like Cell Battery, Lum Luminous Moss and everything. So you do get the double stats on that one. Berries, they activate twice. So Lychee Berry, Moringa Berry, all those, you get double the stats instead of one stage, you get two. Um, we also have Black Sludge, activates twi tw twice, but Leftovers, for some reason, activates four times. Eviolite also activates twice, so you get double, like, you get 2.25 times your defenses. So you get over double your defenses on Eviolite. That's something pretty insane. Rocky Helmet damages twice, and Weakness Policy activates twice. So there's a lot of scary things that this can combo with, and the idea behind this was the Muck. So you give Muck a quarter of its hit points every turn while behind a um, Leftovers, and it just becomes unkillable. So Muck is now going to use Toxic, and then it just goes for the ultimate stall, apparently. So you Toxic the Rotom, you hide behind the Minimize, and then you gain full health at the end of the turn. That's pretty dumb. So Cresselia is burned, means it's not going to get Toxic, but it doesn't really have too much else going on. We saw the Citrus Berry, and it's just going to be like, hopefully the Ice Beam onto Landorus. And then you have to get over the muck, which is going to be very difficult. So I wonder when this uh, glitch is going to get patched. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it took so long for it to get found out. That eject button might have been one of the more funny things to try out. And it just seems like an obvious combo. That you lose your item, but then Symbiosis passes the item. And stuff happens. So Intimidate, not going to bother the Rotom too much. Not going to bother the Cresselia too much. I actually wonder who's going to win this battle. So Cresselia... Can Cresselia cl clutch it? It does survive. All right, so Cresselia gets the flinch though. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The rock slide hacks, I think might have really been pretty decisive on this battle because that would have been an ice beam on Landorus. Landorus would be knocked out. And at least there'd be a response. But now we're just waiting on the Rotom. Oh, that's upsetting. Like Landorus, it feels like it flinches at, like half the time instead of 30%. It's so broken with that flinch. Like, I don't even care about the Intimidate or anything. It just feels like Landorus flinch hacks is way too much. So there's the Poison on the Rotom. There's the Burn finishing off the Cresselia. Now we get to see where the rest of this battle goes. So, the Muck. It's just ridiculous. So Hariyama comes back out. Remember, we do have the Hariyama. We have some Fake Out pressure. Uh, we get some damage onto the Muck. So Fake Out. We're going to be slowing down that Landorus. And we're going to get a little damage on... Rotom also getting the Hydro Pump on the Landorus as well. 
So the extra shutdown means it's a 2v1. How strong is the max minimized mock with quad heal? So Brick Break. Interesting that it's carrying Brick Break with the Tox. I would think like Power Punch Gunk Shot or something. But Brick Break, maybe just trying to get through stall or whatever. Um, also, Poison Touch could activate, which could be weird. Unless it has Stench, I don't know. Alright, so I had to speed up the video. Like, I was just losing my mind, and I got some Mountain Dew, so... Now we get to see this. I actually just left the video running, because I didn't know how much longer it was going to be with all these, all this craziness. So I don't even know who won. Oh, boy. So Toxic's ticking down on the Hariyama and Rotom. Rotom, it's only got one leftovers. It doesn't get to do anything about that. And now we get to see the poison just tick away. Do we get any damage onto anything before we go down? Rotom, badly hurt. And just taking damage right there. Thunderbolt, not gonna land. Brick Break, going to make it to where... Oh, the knockoff misses too, but Sticky Hold wouldn't have mattered. See, that's why you have a Pokemon with Sticky Hold. So the more I think about the muck, the more sense it makes. Except for the Brick Break. I guess Brick Break just to hit Steel-type Pokemon? Because muck, as a Toxic-type or as a Poison-type Pokemon, can't get Toxic Poison. So that's pretty safe right there. Also, Toxic has perfect accuracy, so it can't get out-minimized by a non-Toxic or Steel-type Pokemon. Brick Break sits Steel, and then Sticky Hold means it's going to work, no matter what. And the Drill Run doesn't con- Oh, the Drill Run connected at one hit point on the last turn, and it wasn't enough. But yeah, that's it, so Symbiosis might need- might need to get patched. Just- just maybe a recommendation right there. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty crazy thing that could happen, and the opponent just made the setup work. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys enjoyed Fan Fridays this week. Enjoy your weekend, enjoy your week, enjoy everything. I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching, and toughening out through that battle. That one was uh, pretty painful to watch, but still very entertaining, oddly enough.